You want to overclock your GPU? Got something old and it's just not cutting it anymore? I'm going to show you how simple it is to do it. Let's go! All right, overclocking your GPU. How simple or hard is it? How dangerous is it? I don't know. There's going to be limits. These programs have limits. These modern GPUs, they have limits. They have resistors. They got thermistors. They have thermal protection. If something gets too hairy, it's going to shut itself off. Now, you might see some crazy stuff going on in your screen. Pixelation. Ah, dead screens. Oh, things that look just weird as all hell. That just means we got to cut things back a little bit. But if you're safe and you do this the way I show you how to do it, using the programs I show you, you should be okay. MSI Afterburner. That's number one. Or the second runner-up guy, and I don't know if he's better, worse, I don't know. I just haven't heard as many forums, read as many forums where they use this guy. EVGA Precision X1. We're going to test them out both today. And then that's how we're going to get a nice benchmark, a nice solid number to start with to compare and see if we get a result. Here she comes, 2792. So these are my settings. I'm English. I speak that. Preset custom, API Direct X11, quality ultra, tessellation disabled, stereo 3D disabled, multi-monitor disabled, anti-aliasing off. Full screen, check. Resolution, 1920 by 1080. Those are my settings that I'm using. Here we go, boys and girls. Strap in, that's it. That is our home screen. That's what we're looking for. As you can see, there's two gauges. One gauge here, one gauge over here. We're going to be looking at these numbers, this stuff right in the middle here. All right, our core voltage, our power limit, our temp limit, our core clock, our memory clock, and then our fan speed, which is set to auto. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to take this temperature limit down to 80. That's where I wanted it, okay? That's just where I'm comfortable putting it, all right? Now I'm going to take this power limit because if we're going to make something faster, we must give it some more gas. If we're driving down the road doing the speed limit, and we want to do more than the speed limit because we just want to, you have to push the right pedal, which would in turn put more gas, more fuel. Biggity boom, boom, boom. We need to add gas to the car to make it go faster. With the GPU, we can't dump gas on this thing or we would start a fire. So to give it more gas, we have to tell it that you can use more power. How do we tell it to use more power? Our power limit right now, when set to the temp limit of 80, in my specific setup, our power limit would be using 93% of the power. Okay, so if we want to adjust this, look at this. I can't adjust the power without the temp. They're locked together. What's that do? Let's unlock them. Good. So let's put that temperature. So this little guy right here, as you can see, if I move one, they both move. Now, I'm not doing anything right now because I haven't hit this check mark. So don't feel like anything crazy is happening. You're not going to break anything just sitting here futzing around. You can't do anything or your computer won't do anything till you hit this check mark. Okay. So if I move this while this is checked, they will move in tandem. They will stay in lockstep. Boom, 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 boom. Let's take it off. Let's kick you down to 80 just to be extra safe, as I stated. And ours was at 93. Let's give it all the way would be 120. Let's cut it back. I don't like to ever go all the way right there. Let's start with 110. Okay. Now, we all that we're doing right there is allowing more power to our card. Okay. I'm not going to touch this core voltage. I don't need to. I'm going to do power limit. Temp limit, I've lowered. Now to get started with this thing, we're going to adjust core clock first. Then we'll come back and adjust memory clock. Okay, we'll apply it. And then we'll run through the benchmark, see if anything has changed. And if we've gone too far, you'll see. So to be safe, we could start off in 50 in increments. It's kind of hard to get 50. You can start off with whatever you want. I like to move around in 50 increments, right? Just a nice, nice way to go. 
you can so let's see if you did that you would add a thousand megahertz on top of this thing now we definitely don't want to crank it up that high so ours and if you want to see what it was at the beginning that's the reset button there was the power limit at 100 and these were in lockstep together right all right so if we take that off power limit temp limit down to 80 because we want to be safe let's bump this up 10 percent let's bump up our core which at now is nothing let's bump our core up to and you don't have to sit here and futz around with this we are vultures let's scavenge what the others have left for us right why sit here and run this test again and again and again be a vulture google it see what other people have done let's not waste our time right let's not waste our time we're vultures so through my reading i've come to the consensus that a core clock bump of 400 megahertz while increasing the power limits we should see a result and it should run stable i'm going to leave the fan on auto i'm going to click check to apply now what we've done just with that is we've given it more power i've told it that i want it to not get as hot or shut down and then i want the core clock to go up by 400 megahertz i'm not going to touch the memory clock now Let's just see what a core clock 400 jump does. I hit that. Let's click the smally small. And let's go over to a benchmark. Let's hit run. So we have just overclocked our cards, boys and girls. That's how easy it was. We're giving it 400 extra. And we're back. We had a complete catastrophic. Oh, no, no. Well, it wasn't catastrophic. You know what happened? You didn't see it. But I did. You want me to tell you what happened? My computer completely turned pink and I was forced to what? Hit the reset button. That's it. Don't freak out. Nothing broke. Nothing bad happened. My computer completely went pink and I had to hit the reset button. MSI Afterburner, knowing what it did, said, hey man, let's not do that again and turned everything down the way it was. So I would say what I just did was no bueno. So let's take that core clock. 400 was way too hot. Let's cut it down to 205. Hit that check and let's see what happens. Because I chose to do this the more difficult way. Instead of following normal protocol, I have chose to do it the reversey backy way. My clock, my core clock, does not get excited if I go to 400, and it hates 200 as well. Knowing that, let's ratchet it down to 107, hit the apply button, and try for the third time. Will we get a different result? Test is complete. We're up to a 2881. 2881. The best we can hope for is a 107 at 80 degree temp limit with power 10% increased, okay? We've got that. Now, memory clock can go from zero on mine all the way up to a thousand. Let's go big again. Let's cut it. What did we hit last time? Oh, we got a hundred here. So I guess we could be, let's just cut the thing in half. Boom. Let's go 500. Let's see how close we can get to 500. There it is. Nope, I want to be over 504. I'm going for it all right here. Hit the apply settings button. Three, zero, three, zero. Wow. But look at the minimum FPS. At some point, it died all the way down. Max FPS has gone up. Look at the score of a three, zero, three, zero. That's a result. I would say it's not a stable result. And we went a little hot. 30, 24. Slightly off that 30, 30 number. But look at that minimum. 37. Way better run. I would say this has been a successful overclock, boys and girls. We have hit, and we'll show you one more time. This has been a completely successful overclock um, on the GTX 20. Yeah, right, it's not 2060. Power limit up to 110. Temp limit, we kept it at 80. Core clock, 107. Mem clock, 407. Fan speed, auto. All right, here we go. Memory, 4,000. GPO, target. All right, let's see. Check this all out. Blah, 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 boom, boom, boom. This looks cool. 
All right, so we're going to do the same thing. Let's clock off of this. Let's get that down. Let's give it the same 110 that we did. Now this, we can change the clock. We can actually change the voltage here, and we can change the memory clock. So right off the rip, it's already at 400 plus. And the clock is already at 139. Let's kick this up. Let's give it the old 100 on top. Let's give that the 400 on on the clock. Good. This one, we can actually change the voltage. We don't need to do that. Let's apply that. 3012. Okay. Right there. Same thing. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, also known as CSGO. Here comes our initial FPS test. No overclock on the GTX 1066 gig. Dust 2. This gives us a map for map. Yes, this is map for map. All right, so this is the non-overclocked initial run FPS capture. Can we get to that 144 stable? Can we get higher? Can we get a 200 stable? I have no idea what to expect with this card. And here we counter terrorist all day. All right, looks like in the map, dust two, 142, 143, 142, 143, 129, 137, 143, 140, 142, 143. We're hanging right around the 144 that I want. 141, 143, 141, 143. Pop, 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 pop. I don't know why I changed my gun. That was a terrible time to change a gun. Pop, 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 pop. Well, as you can see, oh, we dipped down there. When heavy things are going on the screen, looks like we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Let's see. That's me. Does this guy have a taser in his hand? Look at this guy. Pop me in the back of my head. So when things get hairy and a lot's going on on screen, it looks like we dip down on the, into the 90s. So def definitely nothing stable here. But it looks like 120s. Yeah. All right. When there was massive chaos on screen, we were in the 90s. Somebody's shooting me. Come on, I'm going to shoot this guy right now. Oh, wait. All right, so here we go. Match. Come on. 143. Here's my whole team on my screen. 142, 143. I'll jump too. Let's all jump. Great. Yay, we're jumping. Yay, we're jumping. Okay, as you can see, when there's these dudes on the map, nothing's going on. 142. Let's go in here. Lead charge. 121. Dip down to 136. 108. Okay, you can see. Let's see what kind of result we can get. So that is CSGO, non-overclocked. Away to the desktop we go. All right, so this is the overclocked version of Dust 2, the map on CSGO. Here we go. GTX 1060 EVGA GeForce 6 gigabyte edition. This is our 100 and the 400 overclock. Let's see what FPS we get. All right, here we go, I'm in. That's my team. I'm starting at 142 frames per second, 143 frames a second. You can watch it up there as I go. 144, 136, 142, 142, 143. You can see it as I'm playing. I'm trying to watch both numbers and shoot a guy. 142, 143, I got a flashbang, I can't see anything. 142, 143, 142, 143. There's a result. That's a result. As you can see, that's a result. Bang. GTX 1060 running OBS in the background, playing Dust 2 map. We were kind of around 140-ish. Benchmark. Yes, here we go. Benchmark. All right, here we go. As we can see, that cool skull in the ice and a gear. Here we go. This is the GTX 1060. We have Streamlabs OBS open in the background. We have Afterburner minimized. I don't know why. We're not using it right now. Uh, this is the non-overclocked first run on Gears 5. As you can see, we're getting 60 frames per second right now. Let's see. We'll do this test now, and then we'll do the test again after we overclock. And hopefully, maybe in this scenario, we'll get a better result than we did in CSGO. Here we go.
It's a pretty looking game, isn't it? Average frame rate, 67 frames per second. GPU is running about 69%. CPU is working its little butt off too at 67%. And I have plenty of RAM, so only a third of it's being used. Average frame rate, 66. Do, 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 do. Doesn't Gears 5 on the Xbox One X play at 4K at 60? Uh, I think it does. Well, here's our result. Unoverclocked GTX 1066 gig. There it is. Windows resolution. Minimum frame rate, 60. Look, we had everything on ultra, highs, highs, and ultras, and highs, highs, and ultras. Here we go. All right, there it was. Average frame rate, 67.6 frames per second. Average GPU frame rate, 68.7 frames per second. There we go. Let's see what we can get now. Bump the power to 110. I want my thingy to be at 80. You know I like to be conservative on this. Here we go. 107 was the magic number. 407 was the magic number click that big fat check mark or nothing happens and let's load up the same game let's see what happens yeah 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 whatever here we go now this is the gtx 1060 with our sweet overclock in which we achieved a result on our benchmark score we didn't see any results in the CSGO uh, real-life test. Let's see in Gears 5 if we get any kind of result. Let's hope. Or overclocking might just mean we get a cooler number and something that we'll never use again. Real-world second game test. Comment down below. Do you think we're going to see any increase? I have serious doubts, but let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know who made it, the coalition. Roopity doo. So if you didn't remember, and I just did it 22 seconds ago, the overclock is we're giving it more power, more memory clock, more core clock. Let's see what happens. Extras, benchmark. Yes, I'm running this on an old non-SSD hard drive, non-MVME hard drive. That's probably why it's extra slow. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. We're in the 80s in the frames. Down to the 70s. I'm seeing some 70s average frame rate. Our other one was, what, 67 and 68? Well, we'll see. I don't know. If I just watch the screen, I cannot discernibly distinguish three extra frames. So for all that work we, we did, grabbing the numbers, and, oh, man, we got that number bigger in that benchmark. whoop de do Do we see any difference here? Nope. Did we see any difference in CSGO? Nope. Is overclocking the GTX GTX 1066 gig worth it in anything I've done so far? Nope. Maybe I'll save you some time and you don't have to do this. 70.8 and 72.1. So we achieved very little. Yay! We achieved very little. Yay! Jaw to the floor. Look at me. CSGO, Gears 5, Squad Dooshki. Have we wasted our time? Can't look at it that way. It feels that way. I wasted my time. You wasted your time watching me waste my time. Is it a waste of time? Let's not leave on a negative. Let's not do that. We achieved a result in a benchmark, a synthetic benchmark. We got a number. And then we made another number bigger. 
GeForce, EVGA, GeForce, GTX, 1060, 6 gigabyte. When given an overclock, more power, more core, more memory. In CSGO, in Gears 5 Ultimate, we achieved squad dooshkies. Look, you see my fingers? Let's see if I can get them to raise. Just there. In Gears 5, we got, what, three frames per second? In CSGO, I don't know, did we lose frames? I'm going to lose my hair that's already falling out. Overclocking this card, in my, in my particular scenario, is an uber waste of time. Tell your grandma, tell your friends, don't do it. Come whack, watch more videos. Is it still a banging, bangerang card? GTX 1060? I edit everything on a daily basis in 4K in this card. I have zero problems. I can play Gears 5, 70 frames per second. I can play CSGO, 140? Those sound good to me. But wasting our time overclocking? We didn't get out of this what I thought we were going to get out of this. I even thought this could possibly be good for streamers as you're running your OBS. It's going to take some of your stuff away. You might drop some frames because you're recording. I figured let's overclock and we'll get those frames back to what we would be if we weren't losing the frames in OBS. Didn't happen. Overclocking this card, not worth it. It's a waste of time and I would say don't do it. Just use the card as it is, and if you don't like the way it is, you're going to have to get a new card. Don't waste your time overclocking this card, because it's not worth it. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Tell a friend. See you next time. Go out and be a vulture. If you can get this card for 100 bucks, hell yeah. Don't overclock it. Hell no. See you next time, boys and girls.